relationship between a mentor and an apprentice is the foundation for KCTCS Apprenticeship Services. Your role. You have been selected to serve as a workplace mentor for an apprentice. Your employer recognizes that you have the character and technical expertise required to be not only a trainer, but more importantly, a mentor. As a mentor, you are preparing an apprentice for success as they navigate their way through training. Sharing your experience and knowledge helps an apprentice learn how things are done at your company. Through mentorship, the next generation of workers can gain the skills, work ethic, and professionalism that you offer as a role model in your industry. Workplace mentors have a very significant role in apprenticeship because apprentices are required to complete more training on the job than in a classroom. As a workplace mentor, you are executing intentional structured training to ensure an apprentice is safe, productive, and competent. The best outcome is that an apprentice receives a program completion certificate from the United States Department of Labor. Your expectations. You may have served as a trainer in the past, but mentoring an apprentice is not just training an apprentice. Being a mentor is additional responsibility for you, but it should not complicate your role as a leader in your workplace. Have no doubt that you are not alone in this mission. You are part of an entire team that is supporting your apprentice. Your KCTCS Apprenticeship Coordinator will keep in constant contact with you regarding the apprentice's training. All progress, challenges, plans, and training details should be provided to the Apprenticeship Coordinator. In most cases, you will serve as a mentor to only one apprentice. To begin, workplace mentors must review and understand the signed agreement for apprenticeship services between KCTCS and their employer. A specific plan for workplace training called a work process is outlined in this agreement. Training and mentoring must be provided to apprentices regardless of an apprentice's race, color, religion, national origin, sex, including pregnancy and gender identity, sexual orientation, age, disability, or genetic information. Starting off on the right foot is critical. First impressions last forever. Up front, you must introduce yourself and your organization. Assure your apprentice knows and understands company policy, rules, personal protection equipment requirements, dress code, work schedule, cases of absence or emergency, Request for time off. Schedule times for work and breaks. Discuss the need for safe working habits. Acclimate the apprentice to their work environment. Begin to establish rapport with your apprentice. Learn what motivates the apprentice so you can best help them reach their ultimate goals. As a workplace mentor, you are expected to manage the daily training process by verifying the work and skill development of your apprentice. Please note that apprentices must create and maintain their own record of workplace training, which you will verify. You will sign the apprentice record on a weekly or monthly basis. Records should include reports of time worked and competencies introduced, practiced, and completed. Intentional, proactive, and reactive coaching is necessary to guide your apprentice as they work to complete the program. It is your responsibility to delegate meaningful and appropriate tasks to your apprentice to increase their knowledge and productivity. Now, at times, apprentices may need extra support and guidance. For example, an apprentice may disclose fears or challenges with classroom training, domestic issues, child care, transportation, work-life balance, or other issues. In such a case, you are expected to inform your apprenticeship coordinator immediately. Remember, the apprentice will have the most significant relationship with you as their workplace mentor, and you must serve as the first responder when an apprentice needs help. Good preparation plus good execution equals great results. Good preparation will pay dividends as you mentor your apprentices. 
To best prepare for your mentoring role, you are encouraged to visit the college to engage with classroom mentors and communicate training needs. Likewise, classroom mentors are encouraged to visit your facility and connect with you. Good preparation plus good execution equals great results. Your communication style must be well received by the apprentice or it can be completely ineffective. Communication and learning styles vary greatly, so finding common ground that works for the training relationship is essential. At the ground level, here are the basics. Number one, remember what it's like to be new. Acknowledge your apprentice as a valued team member from the beginning. If possible, invite them to breaks, project planning, meetings, and trainings that you attend. Number two, understand the signed agreement for apprenticeship services between KCTCS and your employer. Number three, you should serve as a mentor for an assigned apprentice. There are very few specific circumstances which allow for mentoring more than one apprentice. Keep your apprenticeship coordinator informed about the apprentice or apprentices you are mentoring. Number four, following the work process. Find out what the apprentice may already know. Clearly explain each task and ensure that all appropriate tools are available. Review one step at a time and instruct completely and patiently. Number five, apprentices should be encouraged to perform each skill on their own when they are ready. When an apprentice has mastered a skill, they should be able to explain each step of their work. Number six, KCTCS apprenticeship requires specific documentation. Your apprentice will log their training, which you will verify and approve. Direct training with your apprentice, skills practiced by your apprentice with or without your direct supervision, independent skill work by your apprentice, and mastery of skills by your apprentice should all be documented. Number seven, encourage questions from your apprentice and be an active listener that is not multitasking or distracted. Number eight, offer constructive criticism on a regular basis. Remember that everyone receives feedback differently. Don't put your apprentice on the spot or embarrass them. Number nine, on occasion or when appropriate, ask your apprentice how things are going at work, school, and otherwise. Inform your apprenticeship coordinator of any issues or concerns. Number 10, every day act as a role model with a personal commitment to safety by assuring you and your apprentice take all safety precautions. Number 11, be approachable and available to help your apprentice. When needed, designate an alternate person in your absence. Number 12, take a personal interest in the mentoring relationship. Demonstrate a positive attitude, willingness to learn, and genuine interest in the growth of your industry. Let's ask a workplace mentor a few questions. What advice would you give to a workplace mentor who is training an apprentice for the first time? Be patient, that is the biggest thing. Uh, spend a few days evaluating how each individual learns the best. Uh, when they do make a mistake, and trust me, they certainly will, uh, just remember to try to teach and correct their work. Remember that the apprentice wants to learn from you. Understand that uh, if the apprentice are successful, then the mentor and the company will be successful as well. But one big thing for your mentor is to remember, uh, there's a good chance the apprentice will model the behavior of the mentor. So it's certainly essential that you set a good example of the behavior and the work ethic for the apprentice. Mentoring sounds like a daunting task on top of regular job responsibilities. Yes, it is an additional layer of responsibility, but it can be rewarding. It'll help your company's bottom line and make a difference in the future of the apprentice. I try to remind myself that I'm a small part of the larger service model for KCTCS Apprentice. I work with the apprentice, aka the success coaches, on a regular basis to keep the apprentice on track. The coordinators are a great resource to call on when the apprentice may be struggling with time management or completing their assignments. Did you have any reservations about working with youth apprentices? Oh, most definitely. Uh, I was convinced that apprentice might not be able to handle the workload or be engaged in their training. I know when I was in college, having to juggle class and work seemed like a lot. Uh, but I've been pleasantly surprised. Within the first year, they've actually increased our shop productivity and efficiency by 15%. I had to understand this is most likely their first real job. So there's many soft skills we embedded to their daily discussion and training time. Good preparation plus good execution equals great results. KCTCS apprenticeship is successful when an apprentice gains an understanding of classroom theory and demonstrates mastery of skills on the job. When apprenticeship is successful, everyone wins.
A win for the employer, a win for the apprentice, a win for KCTCS. Please complete your mentor pledge, return it to your apprenticeship coordinator, and be proud to train the workforce of tomorrow.